looks like we've got quite a few people and we're I show a minute after. Should we go ahead and get started? Welcome everybody to the community hour. Um, I believe that we will uh, have quite a few things to talk about. And um, let's go ahead and get started. So I think we'll start with Stalebot. Seems to be a big issue and coming up quite a bit. We did make a change with a pull request and I believe that it has um, elicited some responses and that probably warrants discussion. I get crickets. Okay, you know, hey. Does anybody have uh, opinions or, or, or topics you wanna go over or details? I would just say the, uh, yes, like we, we were aware of the, the issues, um, particularly like the, the, the large amounts of email that people received um, and the a number of issues that were, were closed by Stalebot that probably shouldn't have been in the, um, because of the changes. Um, and like anything, it's, it's something that we're going to iterate on and uh, improve over time. So it's not a, what the Stalebot's current where it stands right now is not set in stone and we will we will change it as as we discover uh, issues with it. Yeah, I'm not quite as familiar with um, all the things that it can do. I've mostly used it as its base template and just used uh, labels. Um, the point was brought up to uh, uh, to configure to avoid the milestone of approved. And uh, I think that can be done. I'm not totally sure, um, but I think we should at least look at it. I don't think it can do anything but labels, at least from what okay. I looked at. So you can only exclude like, say, hey, just exclude these labels. Uh, you can configure the date. And then I think there's some notifications that you can configure, but other than that, that's, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Okay. Yeah. Pretty basic. So what do people think about my suggestion to just, instead of confirm, um, do, you know, exclude bug and feature issues? Yeah, the, the bug and the um, feature labels, put those and exclude. I think that makes a, a lot of sense to do, especially okay. since confirmed isn't really a consistently used label. Right. Yeah, and then I think it makes sense to keep it at the 30 days because if something is not a bug feature, what it probably has is what I think is three things. Question, uh, which question should be either answered and closed or be sent to like the Google Groups or another venue because it's not an issue. Uh, pending discussion and info needed. And I think all of those things need to be bumped because it's either waiting on us or community member. Um, and so I think getting those bumped would actually be beneficial. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. As a matter of fact, there's been a, at least a handful or two of issues that I've seen come across with the step box label that uh, I'm like, oh yeah, we actually need to, to respond to this or, um, or on the other hand, it's like, oh yeah, we are waiting on somebody to respond to this and they haven't, they haven't said anything in a while. One thing I would add um, that would be interesting to see if we could do it. Um, I like the idea of, of kind of filtering out features and bugs, um, but it'd be interesting to see if we could add, uh, add like a criteria to ones that are marked as bugs um, that have the label of like pending verification. Um, and if, if they've been in that state for uh, X amount of days, like go ahead and close it because that assumes that something has been fixed by a PR. And then if, I, I don't know, I, I like to think like if, if someone doesn't necessarily, if, if something has been marked as pending verification and, and it doesn't get any any feedback that it's it's potentially fixed yeah unfortunately i'm pretty sure that stellbot isn't that smart 
Um, so I think just procedurally, if, if we want to, uh, I guess, mimic that workflow, then the correct thing to do would be to just close the issue and say, hey, this is this has been fixed in this PR. If that's not the case, then then go ahead and, and say something. We'll go ahead and reopen this. Um, I do like the fixed pending verification just because I'm a, well, that's kind of my attitude is like, okay, well, we fixed it and we're pretty sure it works. You know, we've gone through the tests and stuff and like everything from our, you know, our side, it's fixed, but there's always some chance that there's, you know, mm -hmm. uh, either a, a feature, uh, some weird edge case or interaction we haven't considered um, that, that we've got to, Go ahead and and refix. So I like the I like the fixed pending verification, but uh, from Stellbot's perspective, uh, I don't think there's anything we can do there. Yeah, I think we would need to change our workflow a little bit, and I think uh, we could do something else there, not with the Stellbot configuration, but maybe a webhook or something else to uh, scrape those, but. Um, I, I don't think that it comes in with a stale bot exactly, but I think that's a, a good sort of tangent idea. And I, I kind of want to look into that a little bit. Um, I, I guess I would like to get more feedback from the community about the um, fixed needs verification or, or whatever that label is, it's sort of a long label. Um, is it fixed pending verification? Is that what, <laughs> is that what the label is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, fixed. Pending verification. Yeah, that fixed pending verification, um, I didn't realize that it meant someone has fixed this and I'm now waiting for the person who opened this issue to go verify my fix um, necessarily because there's times that we've put it on uh, tickets that we've opened. So then I'm not sure who's actually supposed to verify. Do you know what I mean? Is it just another core yeah. team member, I guess? <laughs> sure. You know, so I'm like, okay, right? <laughs> somebody, yeah. and I'm like, somebody, sure. And I don't know that we're we all know that even internally. So I wanted to make sure the community was aware of that, and then uh, open that up for feedback. And, and if anyone has that, and then uh, in the chat, I do want to get to your your question um, about this issue four nine two seven three. But uh, I wanted to just open it up about that label. Yeah. So this issue. Um, I can give a little bit of background on it. It was opened quite a while ago, and then it was it was labeled as a, I think a either a bug or a, a feature request, something to that effect. And then at some point, it got marked as a duplicate, but that was not correct. <laughs> and I think it ended, ended up getting closed as well. Um, but then we it's been reopened. It is a valid something <laughs> uh but i was not familiar enough with exactly what the something is to say this is a bug this is a feature this needs to be x y or z um so yeah it, if we can figure out exactly what that is and maybe who needs to do that whether it's a, a salt thing or a i think we just need to thing. assign it to somebody just taking a look at it because at some point it was marked as expected behavior and then other people are saying it's not so. Um. Yeah, and if you look, even Tom has weighed in on it, and it's actually assigned to Tom. Uh, but you know, he's kind of a busy guy. <laughs> so yeah. I actually asked for this to be put on um, a regular meeting that we have with Tom, the architectural discussion weekly. I don't know that we'll get to it this week, but that we should get to it next week, uh, just to get it in front of Tom. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know if that's enough or, or. Yeah, that's enough. We can discuss it then. And then um, based on what we come up with there, we can assign it out to one of the core team members. And I have this on my list to come back to and not let it go stale again. All right. So, so we should expect something uh, yeah. this Friday, but next Friday? Um, potentially. Uh, we should have that <laughs> in, in a few weeks. For, well. It, it just depends on on how much stuff comes up in that that meeting because it, it's sometimes they have a lot and sometimes they don't. And this particular week they have a lot, and next week they don't have anything. So 
how much they get to and then how much drops off of this week. So I, but I'll keep track of that and I've got it on my to do to not let it fall off of the radar. I hope that helps. Yeah. I think that would be helpful for a lot of people. Okay, it, that's well it, It's come up several times in the community Slack, and I know people are, are very interested in its outcome and you know get, getting that thing resolved. Yeah, absolutely. I think it just needs some follow up, and I, I'm happy to do that. Okay. Um, other topics. Other questions? I just wanted to confirm, do we have any action items on the stale bot then? Are we going to implement the bug slash feature? I uh, think it makes sense oh. to go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, do you want me to open a ticket and yeah. um, leave it open for a little while? Maybe even put it in the slot, the community slack? Yeah, yeah, I think okay. that's Yeah, I'd like to get some more discussion around that. I, I also okay. think we, we definitely need to add like test failures to that as well. Um, oh, right. Yeah. So there, there's, so let's get it in front of people and maybe they'll come up with some other suggestions for us. Okay. I will uh, open a ticket today and I'll, I'll post it. And I know a lot of the discussion has been in the develop channel. If you want yes. to post it there, that's where most of the discussion has been. Will do. Anything else? Um, I know that one of the kind of uh, side discussions <laughs> maybe to the, the whole Stellbot issue is, and we've discussed this and talked about it and uh, you know, there's a, a set in the works for it, but just around the, the labels and, uh, and releases. And I know it's been kind of confusing for some of the the community members as far as like what the labels mean. Um, I know Megan's brought it up a couple of times where, you know, some of the labels might be a little, uh, I don't know, almost inconsistent because <laughs> we've got mm -hmm. um, di different, uh, different categories for labels. Um, and so just kind of, if we want to chat about that for a little bit, just kind of some of the ideas that we've come across and, you know, see if that, you know, if there are any questions or comments about what we've, what we've discussed. Yeah, I actually uh, wanted to get our tech writer, our current tech writer um, kind of involved there a little bit just to help us with uh, that communication piece. Um, yeah. I don't think that it'll take a lot of her time and we can do a quick review to make sure that we're being explicit in this label is this, it means this, does that make sense? And, um, uh, and are we communicating correctly? And, and uh, I think that will help us in some ways, but I'm open to lots of other ideas. I not sure that having a dictionary is the right idea. I think that's going too far. So, um, but that's my opinion. You could tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm wrong all yeah, day. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, well, from, from my perspective and what I'm, what I'm understanding, um, and of course this may be an incorrect understanding, but my understanding is that like, really it kind of comes down to like, there's, uh, there's this idea of should, should these issues either be in a release or like absolutely guaranteed to come out in the next release or not? Um, you know, from a high level perspective, that's the, that's this like, there's some confusion around that. Like, hey, what what release is this supposed to even be in? Um, you know, we've got things that are marked, I think, high priority that you know, have been open for quite some time. Um, and so there, there's this question about like, well, when when the world is supposed to, to show up or even I think some critical ones that, uh, that didn't necessarily block a release. Um, so, kind of the, the path that, uh, that we're going down is like, hey, we should have this explicit label and like, this is what blocks a release. Uh, 
anything with this label um, is, is a release blocker. And, you know, those are the kind of high severity items like salt doesn't start or salt crashes or you get data loss. Like those things are, are totally unacceptable. And, uh, you know, we need to fix those before we cut a release. Um, and then there's kind of this, this gradient of other things that aren't release blockers, right? There are things that we, we really want to fix, uh, assuming we have time, as soon as we, you know, there's time between fixing all the release blockers and there, and when we do a release and then there's stuff that, you know, maybe not as important as that. And then there's stuff that's like, you know, probably won't be done unless somebody with a specific itch, uh, you know, is going to go ahead and, and scratch that itch. Um, and so just kind of from a high level perspective, those are some of the, the ideas and uh, kind of like striations, I guess, of, uh, of what those labels might be for. Um, and I think just from, from that perspective, that should simplify things a lot and make it a lot clearer. Like, oh yeah, from a release perspective, I know this is going to be in the next release because it's a blocker or this will probably be in the next release because it's got a high priority or this has you know, a low priority. And if I want this in a release, I'm gonna have to go ahead and do some legwork here. Um, so those are just kind of some, some thoughts that have crossed our minds. We've discussed this. Um, mm -hmm. So that, all of that stuff makes sense. Any questions, anything sound just out there? <laughs> Um, the one comment I would say about that is we we need to be careful about what we're saying is going to actually block a release because we're we've also said that we're not actually blocking releases for major releases um, anymore. That we're more on a more like a scheduled release, like we're going to release what we have when we have it. Okay. Yeah. Fair so, enough. Um, Are, is there, but is I there, I would look at it more like high priority, like highest priority type issues. Yeah, I think you guys are saying the same thing. Um, and, and what I think Wayne, Wayne's point of view is coming from it at, we're going to be more stringent on what we're going to put on that release blocker. And we will review that as we start getting close to that date because we want to start hitting those dates. And so we need to be better about communicating that and what that is and what that means up front. So I think you guys are kind of saying the same thing. Um, and, and I think that's what we want. Right. Like um, right now we're in an RC period, right? And if someone mm -hmm. were to find something that was a super critical issue, right, we would fix it and we would potentially have to postpone a release. But that should be very, very minimal. I, if we're giving ourselves enough time for, for the RC, then we, it shouldn't be, you know. Exactly. An issue. Now, as and far if we as. Can form on an issue that, that comes yeah. up that we haven't found, that it, we should be able to do something about it in a shorter amount of time because we have done a lot more testing up front. Yeah, right. I agree. And I don't know that we're there yet. We've started to make some changes to get there, to get a little faster and to start hitting those dates. And we're going to, I think we're going to see that happen over a longer period of time because we have to go slow to go fast. But I think we will start to see that as we make some of these changes. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Um, have we opened that SEP yet, Wayne? Meg? Uh, no, we have not. That's, um, you guys wanted to do it this week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was just going to tag Elisa on that to get her review once that's open. And, um, I also wanted to dig in a little bit because I think there's, uh, there's definitely some details in there that I think that we could either pull out because they don't make sense or they're too detailed or we need to start going more detailed. And I'm not totally sure what, what the right answer is there. So I wanted, that's where I wanted to get Elisa's input. But I'm also just interested in the community's input as well and, and hear what people have to say. We have some amazing community members and I, I think that we don't tap into that enough sometimes.
Cool. You guys are very quiet today. It's a quiet Thursday. Yeah, I mean, we only have like three or four people from the community online so on the call, so. Yep. Hey guys, well, can you check the chat? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I posted my question in the chat in the Zoom. Could you, could you see it? Yeah, we um, were talking about that earlier. So we've, um, that needs some discussion with Tom. And so we've got that on an agenda item for him. I don't think that's going to happen this week. I think it's going to be next week that we'll be able to have that discussion and then move forward on that. And then I've taken an action to follow up and make sure that that does not become stale again. Um, I, I hope that's enough for right now. I'll continue to follow up there and make sure that we get that discussion happening. Is there anything else? Any other topics or should we go ahead and adjourn? Uh, we just want to point out that we uh, will be cutting an uh, RC uh, next week. It was supposed to be this week, but we're still working on getting a few things in. Um, so that'll happen next week, hopefully on Wednesday. Yeah, any questions there or comments? Okay, I will be posting this video along with several others um, since it's the second week in the month. We have several to post on YouTube and you guys will see those. I'll, I'll put them in the announcements channel and the community Slack and try to make sure that they're available to everybody soon. Um, and if nobody has anything else, I think we can go ahead and adjourn and give you guys back some time in your day. Always good. See ya.